You know, I read somewhere that the mind is very similar to a computer. You know, processing information at about maybe 60 bits per second or something. You know, just like a computer. The computer is literally like a mechanical simulation of, of how the brain actually operates. The brain is literally a, a simulation of how the bigger universe operates. See? And um, it's one of those things where, you know, if you look at it from the mechanical standpoint, the processing is where we need to focus on when we talk about glitches and things that go wrong in this program called the human mind. You know, makes people prefer, you know, one type of drink over another. You know, makes people prefer one type of, of uh, food over another. The choices we have because of our wiring. And everyone is different, by the way. But then occasionally you have a situation where you have... You know, those wires are crossed some type of way. And you know it. Now, when you have a great deal of people who have crossed wires, right? Then you have to start thinking about the fact that, you know, is there some type of epidemic going on where the average person, you know, is incapable of delivering a, a steady stream of of uh, logical consistent thought they're not all over the place because you see this a lot when you deal with people and you see this glitch you see this 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 malfunctioning of these wiring these wires in this this man of this person what i'm trying to say you know i was somewhere today and um actually this is an interesting situation i was somewhere today and i was in one of these buildings somewhere doing something i was walking in a hall and there was a lady and a guy and they were blocking up the hall because they were um they had like some um parcels or something they were trying to load into some type of thing or something you know and i, I really shouldn't have been in this area but i was just there and they were putting some things in uh you know in one of these dispensers or something i don't know i don't work there so i don't know but anyway uh i stood there for a minute trying to get by and to which i you know i noticed that there was a another opening where i could go around so i chose to do that and so i went around went around to the other side you know was able to go about my day go where i was going folks walking out here and um i heard the lady make a comment which is very interesting which is why i'm talking to you about it she said he couldn't wait he couldn't just wait two minutes and he decided to go around so she so really she had a problem with me rationalizing in my own mind that i could just go another way and get to where i have to go i don't have to be inconvenienced by you guys and or inconvenience you see making you have to stop what you're doing so I can get by. If I had another way to go around you, I just did that and, you know, no harm, no foul, right? But this person had an issue with the fact that I didn't want to wait. See, I'm trying to show you guys psychological dysfunction, cross-wiring. What would be wrong with a person, you know, say for instance your car broke down in the middle of the street and you were blocking up traffic, Right? And, and it wasn't like you wanted to do that, but your car couldn't, can't move or something. So you need to get it jumped or something's going to have to happen before that car can start moving. Before you can get out of the way. So everyone in that intersection decides to just make a new path and they just go around you somehow. And so what you do is you run out in traffic and you, you protest to the other you know, motorists about why they're deciding to not wait. Maybe an hour for you to get your car moved. So I'm trying to show you that's that, that's completely a logical thought. A normal person with a certain IQ level it doesn't have to be really high, but just high enough 
to reason something will conclude that, hey, if there's another path that way, I'll just go around that way. No harm, no foul, right? But see, when you get into the narcissistic mind, which is where I'm going, folks, which you thought I wasn't going to go there? And in narcissistic minds, these people feel exalted and they're offended if you're not willing to wait on them. See? I didn't even have to deal with these people going around that other way, right? I didn't have to inconvenience them. They didn't inconvenience me. But they were upset. Well, this person was upset because they wanted me to be inconvenienced. They wanted me to have to stand there for several several minutes and wait for them to get done. Could have took more than, than several minutes. Could have been 30 minutes. Could have been an hour or something. And they were more concerned with what I did, which was just go around them so I didn't have to deal with the problem or make a problem for them. See, I'm trying to show you something, people. What normal person would come out and, and, and say it out loud, loud enough for me to hear, you know, that, that I'm being a certain way because I didn't want to wait? Think about how crazy that sounds. You're at McDonald's. I'm going to give you several examples just to, just to drive the point home. You're at McDonald's. There's a line. There's about 10 people in line, right? Okay. And you're waiting in line. You're like maybe the, the eighth or ninth person in line. Okay. And there's something going on with the register. So they have to keep, you know, getting the, the codes, getting the manager to come reset stuff. So, you know, it's taking a little bit longer than you expected. So suddenly... Another employee comes from out of, out of the back and they, they open up a new register and they say, hey, I can take people over here. So you guys, you know, just just make a new line. You go into that new to that new register because you're trying to get the service and just get out of there. And the person at the, the previous register, they go, you know, all they had to do was wait 15 minutes for me to get this register fixed. They went over there. That's like that. See, see, see how illogical that is, folks? Unless you wanted those people to stand in line, you would have no reason to, to, to be vocal about them moving over, right? It's logic. It's, it's lack of logic is what I'm saying. And in many situations, you'll find people doing just the most, the silliest things. Earlier, I was, when I was getting coffee at a restaurant, I went in there just to get some coffee. They had a little, um kiosk or something and I went and got some coffee this place I go to every morning I went and got coffee and uh, this morning I went over and I noticed that they, they had a bunch of machines up and they they, they, uh, they weren't working so the attendant looks at me and says um, yeah I just cut those on you know so it'll be a few minutes alright so I said okay so I went over and got some of the little condiments, the sugar packs and stuff. You know, I was going to stir my coffee. And so something just told me, something inside of me said, open that, that latch right there. So there were two latches on the machine. So I just pulled the latch back and I noticed that the, the machine was, was, wasn't even on. It was cut off. So I just clicked it to the on switch. And, um, and then within moments or minutes or something, it came on and it worked. And I was able to get coffee. So my question you know, that I would have for this woman is why would you tell a lie? If you know that you didn't cut the machine on and you know if you told me that and you went somewhere else, then I probably would have stood there, you know, for umpteen amount of minutes and the machine would have never come on for me and I would have never gotten my coffee, you know, in time enough to get to where I had to go. So on some level, one has to Imagine, or one has to, to suspect, right, that you were doing that on purpose. See, some people come to some people come to their jobs every day, and they, they you know they hate their jobs, and that's fine, because you're you're a slave at the job, so no no one really cares, you know, in this world. But I, and I get that. But you know, making a purpose, you know, being doing special things like making a point of telling me a lie. Just to disenfranchise me. I'm on my way somewhere. You clearly see that I'm, I'm pressed for time and stuff. I'm looking at my watch or something. And you make up this lie. So I'm so just imagine if I had stood there for 20 minutes or something. And then say, hey, the machine works. And then you say, oh, I don't know. Let me see. And then you would have pretended like it was on or something. 
But why would you lie and say it was on if it wasn't? I'm just trying to get a cup of coffee, lady. You, you get what I'm saying? See, I'm trying to show you that, you know, the, the, I, I call it low intelligence. But really, let's get deeper than that. It's, it's really a matter of cross wiring. Sometimes those wires don't work right. You guys have been in these old abandoned homes or, you know, I, I, I mess around with property sometimes. And, uh, you know, you may get these one of these old messed up homes or something and the, and the electrical, you know, needs to be redone. And you'll know this because, you know, once you hook the power up in the house and you cut cut a light on, maybe the light may blink or something or, you know, it may dim a little bit and then go back and forth from dimming to just being on, you know, brightly or something. And, you know, there's something wrong with the wiring in that house. You're not going to sell that house to anyone you're not going to move anyone in there because the electrical issues can start a fire where these people have those same electrical issues going on in their circuitry in their mind because your mind fires circuits right information is processed on that level just like a computer just like i told you and there are things that happen in life you know traumas you know you take that laptop and you drop it on the ground you take that that iPhone and you throw it against a tree or something and it's not working right you know it looks the same still still in the case and everything but something it's not it's not doing something right right you can't pull up stuff or something you you, you can't hear the sound the, the volume is messed up or something there's always something in these this with this circuitry when you mess up something well the human mind is just like that you put too much trauma you know you give too much trauma to a human mind and, and there are things that are going to happen. There are going to be consequences. You don't put enough of the right things in a human mind, right? Then you're going to get a consciously lost, uh, lack of thinking person. And that lack of thinking translates to days where you're going to get a cup of coffee. And because the attendant doesn't really feel like messing with the machine, but even though she has to be there all day and someone else is going to inquire about that coffee because that's why they're here to buy this coffee that you're selling. See, that's another video for the business owners out there who keep hiring these duds, these duddy people for workers. So, so, you know, I, when I think about that, I just have to realize and, I, and, and what I do, folks, is I try to avoid being in these situations in the first place. If I don't have to talk to a goddamn idiot, why, why waste my time? Why even go over to the idiot and engage them or put myself in a situation where I'm going to have to untangle myself from the mess that I stepped in? You get what I'm saying? You have to be smart enough, folks, to, to look at these people and, and, and um, you know, project or have insight about what they may do, right? That's what I want you guys to think about today. There was no reason for any of these, these stories that I told you about, but this is what I experience on a daily basis many times, sometimes a lot during the day. And it starts to make you believe, like I gave you this little, you know, this little 10 people ratio or something, right? 10 people versus one who's normal and nine are messed up or something and this is what i see every day i watch it in the form of what you guys do right i saw like you know there's been a rash of, of different you know profile people who've been murdered or something and so we live in a world where there are people who, who have that bad wiring and it could affect your life so you don't have to be involved in, like I told you before in the, the other video, you don't have to be involved in the melee to get shot. You don't have to be, you know, caught up in the, in the, in the fight to get stabbed. Right? Not paying attention to all these people around you who are doing things that may affect your life because, you know, you're dizzy, you're lost. Your focus is only on trivial things. You can tell me some shit I don't need to know. Right? But you can't tell yourself things that, that you would need for the rest of your life. That's the problem with you people. I call it I call it low intelligence, but it's really just the cross wiring of these folks. They have bad wiring. Right? Now you can't be rewired. The thing about the human mind is I think that, you know, once you're gone, you're gone. 
That's the special thing about human consciousness. You know, you go over the edge and I don't know if there's a return. Because there's so much more than what you see. There's so much more to this, this to existence, right? This is not all there is, folks. So, so when you make efforts in the world to hurt people or, or to just, just something small as that. Just just make just telling me a lie just so I can be disenfranchised or just holding me up from getting somewhere, blocking me or something, because you want my attention or something, whatever you want from me. Right? I'm just trying to get where I gotta go. Just think just think about that though. Let's let's really think about that. I'm trying to go somewhere. You're blocking me. I decide to walk around you so I don't have to wait for you, and you get mad because I didn't want to stand there and wait for you. Just think about how crazy that is. And then there are many of you who agree would, would agree with that person because you're messed up. See, the problem with having a room full of crazy people is that none of them can see that they're crazy. Right? You go into that insane asylum somewhere and, you know, and you see all of these people hanging from the chandeliers and doing all of this stuff. And you see some guy, you know, playing a piano with his back to you or something. And then what you do is, you know, you, you, you know, you see that. And then, you know, you go up to this guy, you put your hand on his shoulder and you say, hey, you say, what's going on? Right. And the guy turns around, he has his finger stuck square up his nose. And he says, you don't say. Right. And then you turn around and look at the camera because you know you're trapped. You know you're in a crazy home or something. In asylum or something. This is what I'm just trying to show you folks. The people who think we walk around the world and the world is an insane asylum. And we see all of these batshit loonies walking around and doing everything they do. Motivated by the wiring. Right? Wiring is crawling. And that's 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 just something that I, you know, you know, you have to you have to go to a higher authority to take care of that problem because because there's nothing in medical science that can help these low level people that have these problems. Right. The fact that they even got there in the first place signals the world we live in. Well. So I don't love this stuff. I do love bad behavior because it's the title of my book. <laughs> and y'all can pick that up on Amazon. You can get it on my website, which is uh, thinkbehavior.info. Come on over there. Because I'm not going to talk too much today. It's hot out here, too. But um, I, just, I just had to speak to you guys and see what you thought about that. Put your comments below if you have any opinions on if this was the right thing or if you think that person was right or how I acted or behaved. You know, to to curb the situation, because I'm not about conflict unnecessarily. Why do I have to stand here and argue with you about about waiting for you if I can just go around you and I don't even have to deal with you? See, see how practical and logical I'm being about something. And that's what too many of us just we just we just lack in these things. Not about being negative, but it's about pointing out the reality of all of these people who do this every day, just like yourself sometimes. So y'all like the videos and share the videos and all that good stuff. And, um, you know, subscribe. You know, because maybe we'll have a smaller community of, of like-minded people we can, we can build up on. Relative to the rest of the world. You know, we're always going to be a smaller group compared to everyone else. If you're talking about the world at large, you're talking about, you know, billions and billions of people. Have a nice one.